Hi, my name is Nancy Soleri, founder of Living Full Out. We've all been there. You put together a resume, a cover letter, you're about ready to hit the send button, you blow a kiss for good luck, and then you wait. And you wait for the call. You wait for the call. And you wait for the call. And then finally, bring, bring, someone is calling you, asking you to come in for an interview. But now, wow, now you're on, right? You, how do you make the best impression possible? How do you convey all your experience, your passion for the job? Well, let's talk about that. You wanna think about pre-interview. What is the outfit that you should wear? And a lot of times that may be related to the job that you're applying for. If it's an artsy job, you might wear an outfit of a certain style. If it's more of a corporate feel, then maybe a blazer or a dress that really allows you to be that authoritative figure, but yet a leader and confident. Or if you're going to be with kids, then maybe a more playful look. You got to think about that. Plus, you want to have your swagger. Now, what do I mean by swagger? Okay, have a little bit of a pre-interview routine on your way there in the car or however you're getting there. Listen to music that sets you up for success. You know, it gets you kind of wiggling and shaking your hips and your shoulders and feeling like, you know what, I got this, I can do this. And also the words you say to yourself, I will, I can, this job is mine, watch out world, right? So when you go into the interview with that vibe cooking, well now you're on and they're excited to meet you. You're smiling, you're looking great, you're feeling great, your attitude is positive. Now when you're in the seat, you wanna say all the right things that basically allows you to be the solution to their problems. So there will be a point when your interviewer says, do you have any questions? I want you to pop out there and say, absolutely. I'm just wondering, you know, what's important to you about hiring someone for this position? Let your interviewer talk, get them sharing all the different challenges they're facing. You know, where was the prior person successful, but where was it a miss? and maybe they wish they had done something differently. When you can find out what their needs are, what their problems are, now you can be that solution. And it allows you to really explain the best experience to help be that answer. Now, when you are done with the interview, make sure you shake their hand or fist bump or smile again with delight. You can't wait to hear from them. And then when you get home, write a thank you email or even more special, a thank you note, put it in the mail, same day. Now, what do you put in that email and note? You are the solution to their problems. All the things that they told you that they need in a candidate, be that answer. Show and express how much you want the position. And then once again, when you hit that send button on the email or you put on that stamp, blow a kiss for good luck. And you know what? I bet you're gonna get the job. We would love to hear from you and let us know your successes and comment on this video. Give us tips for how you prepare